now I have added a few more data like you know the password permanent join date and login time and stuff like that you may need to pause the video to get uh, jot down these values uh, it may be helpful and like you know uh, making sure you don't make any mistakes and if you're curious about what date data type it is like you know uh, from which package I'm getting it from java.sql.date and this is uh, java.util.gregorian calendar so this is my data now let us run this particular data contents and here we can see that we have like all this particular data now I want to add a few more records so that like you know when we are dealing with uh, HQL when we are learning HQL we'll have some data to play around with before we go to that I want to talk about this generate values that is like generate primary keys now in this particular example I'm setting the employee ID to 100 and the next record like maybe I want it as 101, 102 and stuff like that. Instead of us like you know playing around with these primary keys, imagine a situation where you really don't want to set the primary key and all you want to do is you want Hibernate to take care of the primary key. That how to make Hibernate generate the primary keys? All you have to do is go to this particular employee class and to the getter method and in this particular getter method you can just go to this like you know below this id or it doesn't matter where exactly it is you annotate this particular employee id column with at g control space generated value from java x dot persistence generated value and that's it when you say generated value what happens is hibernate will ensure that every record that you insert you don't have to set the primary key it will generate a primary key now I've come back to this particular object and I have like commented out alex.set employee ID and now I'm going to like you know recreate the table I have uncommented out the schema export to save it and now run this particular class refresh the schema let us go to our employee info and then you can see that it has auto generated the primary key like as one and stuff like that for now let us go and um, add a few more records to this particular uh, employee table um, I have added a few more records I just copy pasted these things and changed some values here and there you can do the same thing let us call right click run as Java application check make sure you refresh and then you can go to this employee info if you notice I did not give the employee ID because I know hibernate is going to auto generate for me data sample contents and then we have all these records now let's have a look at this generated value annotation a little bit more in depth uh, first if you notice right here in the results it was automatically able to generate the employee IDs good but let me show you something if I go to the test employee and if I'm going to comment out this new schema export and then save it and like I'm going to run this particular program once again that means uh, it's going to once again insert all these records and it's going to generate new uh, primary keys now if I run this right click run as Java application and then now if I go to the database and refresh the schema and then if I look at the data employee info sample contents now if you observe the data here you notice that the first five records it's the same records that have been inserted the first five records started with like one two three four five and then it made this massive jump so what does that mean if you have this particular tag generated value if you have this tag generated value all it says is hibernate will generate a primary key for you and it will ensure that it will be unique but it does not ensure that it will follow a sequence now 
This may be fine in certain cases when you're not worried about your primary key, but in this case, I don't want my employee IDs jumping all over the place. I want to maintain a sequence. As and when I add records, I want them to maintain a sequence. So what should I do to ensure that there is a sequence? Now, you can go after this particular annotation, generated value, and then there is something called as a strategy. str control space strategy equal to generation type control space generation type and then put a dot now totally there are four different strategies to generate the primary keys by default it takes the auto generation that's exactly what we saw it ensures that there is a primary key and it will be unique but it does not ensure that there will be a sequence uh, identity is nothing but auto will by default like you know take the identity generation type auto and identity are one and the same the next one is the sequence generation for the sequence generation the database whatever database you're using should support something called as a sequence object unfortunately our database uh, db derby does not support the sequence object but then we don't have to worry we have something called as a table generation if you look at like production level code most of them prefer to use the table generation because it is very powerful and we can like have a very good control over the sequence now let's have a look at this table generation okay now I have given the strategy as table generation and now let us give a name for this uh, generation type table. To give a name for the uh, generation strategy you just have to say GEN control space generator equal to and here you can give any name. Uh, I'm just going to give a name say something like you know EMP ID or something like that. Now, go right on top of it or below it doesn't matter you have to give another annotation called table table generator give another annotation called table generator and now you have to give whatever the generator name you gave here you will have to give it here too it has this property called name and the name i gave here is employee id so i'll give the name right here Comma. Now let us give another property called table equal to and like let us give some name for this table like I am going to say like you know EMP uh, primary key table we will see what this does and then the next property is PK control space primary key column name equal to we will give something called as like you know uh, EMP key and then another property pk control space primary key column value equal to and then we can say like emp value emp value so let me put this on the next line so that it will be like much more visible for you and then let us give another property saying allocation size control space equal to let's give an allocation size of say one now we will see what this exactly does and then go to the test employee and then we will like uncomment the schema export because i want the table to be dropped and then like you know recreate it so that we can see the effect of this particular table generator what it does okay so let's go run this and then we can go and like you know refresh this particular schema and then look at the table values and now if you notice it has created a table called EMP PKTB same thing that I gave right here and then it has given like you know in that particular table if you go look at it data sample contents if you go take a look at it it has created like those two columns the primary key column name and then the primary key column value and then in this particular table you will notice that it has it has the key and value and here it says like this is the employee value and the employee value is like you know six that means it has inserted the particular data in the employee info and the next sequence in that is going to be six now to test it out if our sequence works all we have to do is go back to our test employee comment this guy again and then let's run this out cool now let's go refresh this particular schema 
go to the table and here if you notice it has maintained the particular sequence because the allocation size was one it has maintained like you know for every uh, record it will like an you know, increment by one and you can always notice like you know what is the next primary key going to be you can query this particular table and over here you will notice that the next sequence value is going to be 11 so this way we can have a tremendous control over what kind of a primary key will be generated so once again if you want to have a control over your sequence you just have to say generated value create like you know a strategy and i would always suggest use the table uh, generation type strategy and then give some name for the generator and then right on top of it you can give this annotation table generation use the same name that you gave to the generator to the name and then give some name for the table this table is going to store our sequence and then give a like a key and uh, value pair and then allocation size you can give it like you know 1 or 10 or 100 and see what is the difference how the numbers jump around okay